All right, guys and gals, back to work. Boy, what a fantastic session today. How about that beautiful two-legged pullback we talked about in last night's video? Now, I got some more good news for us in tonight's video. We have one of my favorite chart patterns setting up on the S&P SPY, the NASDAQ Triple Qs. We have a slingshot breakout setting up for tomorrow. Now, these slingshot breakouts, they oftentimes give us two types of trades the following day. One of those trades could make our entire week on Friday morning. So we have a lot to talk about in what might be the most important video of the week this week. So enough of the intro. Charts ready to go here. Let's go make some more money on Friday morning. Charts look beautiful here tonight. S&P and SPY is already. The NASDAQ and the Triple Qs are already. I have two very simple but very important and hopefully very profitable clues that are tipping us off to where the winning trades are waiting for tomorrow. One of those two clues is right here on this hourly time frame we are bullish overall into a trading range bullish overall into a trading range as we mentioned earlier on in the week ranges act like magnets ranges love to rotate and right now we have a bullish rotation trying to rotate higher here on the higher time frame this 60 minute time frame the range above us as a magnet gives a very good overall directional bias directional filter but they only go so far these hourly charts are not going to help us time the entries on the faster time frames our tick charts that's where it all comes together i have one very important clue for that slingshot breakout on the faster time frame before we talk about that though let's check schedule for tomorrow because boy there are four things on my mind for tomorrow first things first durable goods orders 8 30 eastern time second is the consumer sentiment number at 10 o'clock don't be sleeping on that consumer sentiment number at 10 o'clock on friday third thing third thing is tomorrow is a friday i always try to get in as early as i can and leave a runner on a friday fridays love to run and the fourth thing on my mind for tomorrow is for next week next week is one of the biggest weeks of the month we have the end of the month non-farm payrolls personal income a ton of mag seven earnings reports next week so don't be surprised if the markets are a bit squirrely into the afternoon tomorrow afternoon so durable goods consumer sentiment Friday mindset early in, leave a runner, and hopefully that big, big week we have tomorrow or, or next week won't cloud these markets up too bad tomorrow. If it does, though, we know what's happening. The markets are waiting for those big news numbers coming out tomorrow. So that's my mindset for tomorrow morning. Let's get back to our charts, though, and find those entries to make some money on Friday morning. Starting off first year, of course, on the S&P and the SPY. I mentioned earlier, one big clue is this bullish move into a range we're trying to rotate back up into that range overhead but again these are not going to give us the entry timing tools that we need let's grab some tick charts here tick charts i think make entry timing a lot easier because they're based on volume right ticks are based on transactions this is a 7,000 tick chart you'll see linked up there upper left hand corner and if you're watching for the first time right now welcome to the channel that is the 21 ema as you can see it's the only indicator i use to find lots of winning trades each week there is one more i think the most important clue right now on the chart it's a bullish move up into a trading range now now this is a very important clue if you take in my free video classes you know that ranges are magnets but they love to rotate they go up down up down up down and with that big range acting as a magnet overhead this could potentially slingshot off that low that's why i call these slingshot breakouts these oftentimes produce very strong breakouts going higher so knowing that we have ultimately a slingshot move on the higher time frame and a beautiful slingshot move setting up here on the lower time frame i have four different trades i'm watching for tomorrow let's cover each of those right now that way you guys have a game plan to make some money to finish off the week now a slingshot breakout i mentioned earlier really gives us two types of trades the second one is the one that really has the potential to make our entire week as this thing kind of slingshots off of that low what we look for is is separation off the moving average a higher high in price and a bear trap entry 
going higher. These are buying relatively high, so it's very important that we first get that separation off the moving average. Separation is strength. Separation of the moving average, higher high in price, a nice strong green candle closing above that 21 EMA. In the free video course, I call these trap patterns. This, of course, is a bear trap pattern. Now, watch very closely right now. The size of that breakout leg is a measuring leg. Use that size of that leg to find a measured move going higher. That is where our targets go as we go higher. Now, once we take out that measured move, we stop buying, and now we look for what is ultimately a breakout pullback. This trading range, if there's one thing you learn from this video this week, I want you to remember that ranges love to break out pullback. What was resistance now becomes an area of support so as we pull back i don't want to buy too high right now and to do that now i want to look for a two-legged pullback now boy did we get a good example of that big move up two-legged pullback if you watched last night's video you know what i'm talking about with that one right so the same situation think about a measured move as it pulls back, ideally, if we're lucky, it'll line up right around those prior highs right there. Now, you know me. I'm not going to pick a bottom on this, right? I'm not going to blindly buy that pullback. What I'll do is I'll look for a way to trap in some sellers. Let those bears try once to go lower. Let them try twice. Why twice? Because now I've got you trapped. You see, if you're short right here and your stops get hit, what happens? Those bear stop losses trigger buy orders and the market will snap up and run higher. Now, very important here, the market wants to go back and take out that big high. As we make our way back to that high, we're gonna add to our winners. And to do that, we're gonna use another bear traps. Remember, separation of moving average, higher high in price, move just below that low amount of space on this one you can see here, but a bear trap combination going higher. So trade number one of four trades for tomorrow. As we go higher, it's that bear trap separation. And heads up on this, I usually go a half size or a quarter size on this one because again, you are buying relatively high and make sure you've got good separation off that moving average. That's the first one. Mark that measured move. Don't buy high. Buy nice and low. Get that one leg, two leg. Trap the bears in. It's a failure pattern like I teach in the free video course. And remember, if you want to make more money, don't trade more often. Add to your winners. It's that bear trap add-on. Target, of course, back up to retest the high. That's one of four trades I'm watching for tomorrow. Second trade for tomorrow, ranges. Ranges, the best trades in ranges are always going to happen around the edges of the range. If I'm wrong about the breakout pullback on this, my next favorite trade, of course, is a run lower looking for bear traps down below this low. Now, when I say bear traps on this, what I'm really talking about here is I'd like to use that same failure into trap combination. Don't pick the bottom here. Look for the bears to come in one to trap those bears in, use their stops to fuel the move going higher. It's that failure, separation, that higher high in price, and that bear trap add-on from there. Now remember, ranges love to rotate. So if we do get below these lows, really anywhere down here, anywhere down here, even off that low right there, anywhere down here, think about the, the, the rotation. Measure the amount below, measure the amount above. And remember, tomorrow's a Friday. Leave a little piece of that trade to run because Fridays, they love to run here. That's the second trade of, three, of four trades for tomorrow. The third trade here, we may not get that big of a deep pullback here. This channel coming up off these lows, right? It's that channel right there. This sets up for a great spot for a bear trap entry off of that low. What I'll do is, because in this scenario, you're buying relatively high, and again, the best trades in these examples, they almost always come below those lows. What I'll do is I'll take a little bit of caution on this and look for what would ultimately be a two-try trap. Bears once, 
bears twice. I want to get underneath that low and buy as low as I can. This one is a bit of a technical to betray set up. We cover more of that inside the free view course. That is the third of four trades I'm watching for tomorrow. And I have one more favorite setup for tomorrow. Before we talk about that though, let's slow down for a second because we've covered a lot of good entries so far in this video. I know most of you guys watching right now, you know these patterns. You're making money with bear traps and two-legged pullbacks. You guys know this already. But if you're watching for the first time right now, this might be a brand new language for you, a brand new strategy. I do look at things a bit differently here on this YouTube video. So don't you worry though. I teach the entire roadmap. I have a ton of examples of bear traps, failure patterns, breakout pullback patterns. I teach so much more of this in our free video classes. I'll put a link up top here for you. Don't you worry. Upper right hand corner, grab that link that popped up there and take that free trading course because the strategy I teach in that short video series will teach you a simple trick we use in our members trade room that tells us where the winning trades are going to be each morning. More importantly, I want to teach you my four favorite entry patterns, help you time better entries, make a lot more money each day. Guys, the markets are way too good right now not to be making consistent profits. If you're tired of missing the best entries, if you've lost your confidence in your current trading strategy, again, hit that link that popped up. Take that free video course. Everyone loves all the trade examples and examples of the setups I include in that free video course. It is perfect for someone who's serious about making money in these markets. Also, too, keep in mind, too, I'm going to put all the important links you guys need to learn more down in the description of the YouTube video. I would definitely recommend start first on the free video classes. The link is listed there below in the description. Don't forget too, we trade together every morning in our trade room, eight o'clock Eastern time. And I post a lot of updates on Twitter or X as they call it, charts, videos, mindset stuff. If you're on Twitter X, give me a follow. Again, all the important links you'll need to learn more about this stuff and hopefully earn a lot more once you learn it. We're all included there in the description of the YouTube video. So. Now you know where to learn more about this. I covered three out of my four favorite trades here for tomorrow. How do we sell this? I mentioned earlier, the best trades in a range market are always going to be around the edges, right? The edges. I love the idea of a bear trap around those lows. Now, next week is one of the biggest weeks of the year, you could say, because of all the, the big impact news events coming out. So in all reality, we may not get that blast up I'm hoping for tomorrow. What if we run up here? How could I sell this back down again? Because don't ranges love to rotate? They do. The challenge is, is we're bullish overall on the higher time frame, and we're bullish as we rotate off of this low. I mentioned earlier, I would love to get that run going higher, get some separation off the moving average, and go higher, right? That sets up for a bear trap going higher. But what if we make our way higher here? What if the buyers try to get going once, what if they pull back right, and, and try again? This is where I can use what I call a crown reversal. It's a very simple but very specific type of entry pattern. It's a lower low in price. It's basically buyers once, buyers twice. And the reason why we do that is because now all those buyers, their stops are sitting right there. If you're long, and you get stopped out of a long trade, what happens? You short your way, you sell your way out of that long position. Now on this one, I wanna make sure I get a nice, strong red candle closing firmly or convincingly below that uh, 21 EMA. Now on these ones, I'm going against the trend on this, right? So half size position, quarter size position. If I'm not making money yet, consistently going with the trend, this might be a zero size position for some of the rookies out there watching here this evening. That is one, again, kind of the fourth and final trade, again, around the edges of that range. Now, a slight variation of this, we oftentimes will run up, get kicked back down, and begin to grind back down. If it starts grinding back lower, don't forget those grinder moves. Marker trailing off that low, up off that high, look left, and as we always say, right, don't miss that first test is the best test off the high of that channel. You know where the market wants to go at that point. Mark off the high, mark off the low, leave that runner. And remember, if we wind up all the way back to that low, this is definitely not 
a reversal. This is a gift to the buyers down here. Trap those bears in once, twice. Don't pick those bottoms. Don't be, don't be acting all rookie mistake on that. Picking tops and bottoms. Squeeze those stops running higher. Remember, as it goes higher here, it's always going to be that bear trap add-on as it rotates. In our trade room, we always say failures at the edges, traps as it rotates. Failure patterns around the edges, traps as it rotates. Failures at the edges, traps as it rotates. Remember, trading is a lot of repetition over and over again. So four of my favorite trades here on the S&P, the slingshot breakout, the crown reversals, and of course, uh, the shallow uh, uh, bear traps. Now, how about some NASDAQ? I have a couple variations I want to talk about here on the NASDAQ because we know my favorite trades for tomorrow, but you know the markets, they sometimes throw some curveballs on us. So before we talk about NASDAQ though, if you're enjoying this video tonight, please help me grow this channel by hitting that like button, subscribing, and sharing this link with other trading friends. That small action takes no time for you, but makes a huge impact on my channel because YouTube, believe it or not, rewards me every time you like, share, and subscribe. I get it. I know we're all busy people these days. I appreciate you guys spending a few valuable minutes with me every evening on these videos. So thank you so, so much for the like, subscribes, and support. Now, let's get back to our program here and talk about the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is a gorgeous chart, very similar here to the S&P 500 and the SPY, bull move up into that range, rotation going higher here. Very straightforward chart here, very common. You wanna learn how these things work. Tick charts though, right? It's good to know the overall big picture, but the tick charts are really where the money is made. You'll notice right away here, a 4,000 tick chart there, a little bit, high, little bit lower time frame there on the NASDAQ because NASDAQ is lower volume than the S&P is. Look at that beautiful chart, bull move up, into a trading range. Again, think about this, right? Amount above, amount below. We're rotating back and forth here. And now the NASDAQ now is trying to slingshot breakout going higher here. You'll notice the NASDAQ is quite contained right now, quite consolidated. That's because we have all those big MAG7 earnings reports next week. Now, a lot of this is the same thing we talked about earlier on the S&P, right? I love the idea of that slingshot breakout, right? As it goes higher, look for that separation off the moving average, right? Higher high in price, separation, same idea here, right? That's your bear trap combination or that bear trap as it goes higher, measured move is used for your targets. Then we look left, get below that, get below that moving average, get that two-legged pullback, Think about that measured move, as we always say. Ideally, it'll line up with one of these levels and use that as an area of support as we pull back. Remember, remember this, may, this may keep on rolling, right? So we're not going to pick a bottom on that. What I do know, though, is, is this is a horrible spot to be selling. If I can get bears trying a couple times here, we'll use that failure pattern to squeeze those stops. And again, if you want to make more money, don't trade more frequently, trade bigger size or add to your winners. Again, bear trap, two-legged pullback, failure, bear trap combo, target of course is back up to retest the high. Also to the NASDAQ too, you'll notice the edges. Remember the, remember the best trades are always around the edges of these ranges, run it lower. Don't don't be chasing this thing lower. Trap the bears in. Use that failure into that trap combination. Right, same as always there on the Nasdaq. There, you'll notice this channel right here. Channel coming up. That prior swing right there. Definitely not my favorite trade for tomorrow because of location. Right, it's not around the edges. So again, we have to be a little extra cautious on this one as it rolls lower. Think about that two try failure, combine that with a bear trap. I, my, my nickname for these are two try traps. It wraps together a two try fair like I teach in the free video series along with a along with a bear trap pattern. Again, strong green candle closing above the 21 EMA. And you know where this market wants to go. It wants to keep rotating higher here, taking out levels of resistance up overhead. And again, uh, and again, now one key difference here on the NASDAQ, I don't love the crown reversal. On the S&P, the S&P sets up nicely right now 
for a crown reversal, right? The S&P sets up nicely for a possible crown reversal bull trap off the high. In our trade room, we always we always try to avoid trades uh, selling if it starts to grind going higher. So one key difference here on the NASDAQ is I don't like the crown reversal on the NASDAQ as much as I like on the S&P. Just because you can see we're kind of grinding up right now. There's not much separation away from the moving average. So I don't love that crown reversal. One variation though that I do want to remind you about for tomorrow is we've got that big move lower that we saw late yesterday afternoon. We talked about this last night, right? The bears, they may try to make a run back to retest that low. Again, we got big news coming out next week. Things might get a bit squirrely late in the session tomorrow morning. And this applies to the S&P and the NASDAQ. If this thing makes a really sharp run lower, it may end up V-bottoming off of that low. I mentioned earlier that we want to get that bear trap down here one two and buy in those stops right there right that's the idea behind it but sometimes though sometimes there's so many buyers down there and oftentimes it gets one of these v bottoms like this if it v bottoms off that low remember you don't want to chase after it if it v bottoms off the low it almost always begins to grind going higher mark that trend line off the highs mark the channel there off the lows and if you watch these videos every day you know what i'm gonna say right now look left find some prior swings and the goal is is to combine one of those prior swing lows with the first test off the low of that channel now i try to keep these videos as short and concise as possible so i can't go over all the entry tactics we use in our trade room but this could be a bear trap pattern a seller failure pattern a pullback combination maybe a strength trade going higher because again it's going to want to rotate all the way back in so again make sure you grab that free video course learn more about all of these entry setups traps failures pullback combos lots of examples we call the price section cycle are covered in that free video course so again be aware of that v bottom off the low that will also apply to the s p as well all right guys boy i'm getting excited for tomorrow just talking about this stuff love doing these videos plan on our trades for tomorrow that we're gonna do tomorrow is is trade our plan now that's the plan for friday morning don't forget tomorrow morning every morning eight o'clock eastern time come trade this stuff with us guys the easiest way to start making money in these markets is to learn and trade along every morning in our trade room i'm going to put all the important links as always description of the youtube video definitely start first on the free video course learn the roadmap start making money on your own everyone loves the free video course i think you will as well and keep in mind too any questions any issues getting started any error messages on the free video class you can always call the office or use live chat if you want help along the way guys all right guys hope you learned a bunch in tonight's video hope you use this knowledge to earn a bunch on friday morning and hopefully i'll see you sometime soon trading with us in the trade room at eight o'clock eastern time in the meantime be well out there be nice to each other and you better be here next time right adios amigos bye for now